I cannot believe that another week has gone by. Cello all, Stacy the Black Feather Intuitive, and welcome to Demystify the Divine Weekly Readings and Tools to Connect. So excited to be connecting with you guys this week, and it's one of my favorite installments. We are doing the Universal Laws, and we're doing Universal Laws for this month. And when I was connecting with our guides, um, and I'll just show you the the spiritual awakening deck, the 52 universal laws that I pull from when I was connecting with our guides on this and, and really, um, I was kind of questioning what is it that we are really moving through as a collective right now in terms of this universal law. And I, I kind of set that intention when I was pulling the card and I got a really cool one and you're going to love the image as well the law of rhythm the universe is guiding you go with the flow so this month i feel like we are you know we are in a, in a space and a time where there's so much that is unknown there's so much that is quite frankly unpredictable and this is a psychic intuitive saying yeah there's a lot that is unpredictable right now. We are in a space of potentials and possibilities. It is the birth, um, the birthing of new things. It's the opportunity to write the um, script that you want to act in, to write the book that you want to read, um, you know, to, to write the speech that you wish somebody would empower you with. And when we talk about that law of rhythm, the law of rhythm is coming through to say, it's now time to let go of this idea, the, I wanna say the illusion of control, the illusion that you have control over any of it and step more into the rhythm and flow of what is showing up in your space. And here it talks about, oops, it talks about um, the universe is guiding you, go with the flow. One of my favorite sayings is don't micromanage the universe. The law of rhythm is saying you don't have to micromanage the universe. If you listen to the rhythm, if you feel for the beat of it, and there is a synergy, a beat, a tempo, we have to be quiet for a minute in order to feel that. In fact, let's do that right now. I want you to close your eyes. You can choose to put one hand on your heart if you want, if you want to really have a tactile sensation of a rhythm that you can connect to, or you can simply connect to the rhythm of the space, the air, um, the energy that is in the room that you're in. Listen for its rhythm and its tempo. Notice where you feel it in the body. I'm feeling it right away. It's coming up into my legs. So right now, because I'm sitting here and I'm and I'm um, making this recording with you guys and engaging with you right now, I'm feeling that the center of gravity for me is in my upper legs, my torso area, because that's where the bulk of my weight is centering me right now. And that's where the energy is flowing. That's where I'm feeling the life force of Mother Earth coming through. So I feel like the law of rhythm is encouraging us this month to um, take time out every day to connect to that rhythm, to seek it out, to find out where in the body you can experience it or feel it. Um, because when, you know, as humans, we can f fantasize and, and idealize and, and imagine all day long, but we tend to not believe things until we can actually like tangibly prove that it exists. And the rhythm of life and the rhythm of the universe absolutely does exist. We have to bring awareness and attention to it. 
And I feel like that's what's coming up for us. So let me um, read the actual message from the card and, and see how far off or how, how uh, spot on I am. We'll, we'll see what comes up as a result. So the universal law of rhythm, the universe is guiding you, go with the flow. Life is an energetic flow of vibration that moves in a cyclical manner. Day becomes night, tides rise and fall, the heart beats in and out, in and out. This law brings balance and order through its centering equilibrium. Extreme beliefs, judgments, and intense actions are neutralized through the process of this law. Everything realigns into order via this symmetric axiom swing. Awaken the oracle within. You might be feeling like nothing is ever going to change. Your life is not destitute. This law states that what goes up must come down and vice versa. By drawing this card, it indicates that you are in a relative experience so you can appreciate the opposite. The universe has a rhythm, like the beat of your heart. What feels like darkness in your life is transforming into light. What you are experiencing right now is happening for you to build the conviction to prevail in living your truth. So when we're talking about this, and, and when I say to you, don't micromanage the universe, the law of rhythm is saying, there's no need for you to micromanage it. We've got it. You just need to get on the raft and, and take the, you know, take the river, um, follow the current because the current knows where it's going. You don't need to know where you're going. The current knows the current will take you. So remove some of the guesswork out of it and be more, I want to say in the presence of that rhythm. And I don't know about you guys, but I love to dance and I love music that does have a really rich rhythm. One of my favorite experiences in life is when you go to a live concert and you know, you're pretty close to the stage and you feel the bass, you feel the bass in your body. That is tribal. It gets us fully connected. And when we are in that rhythm and that flow, oh, the places will go. There's nothing that can stop us. And it allows us, I want to say, to be free, to be liberated from the mind and liberated from all of the, I want to say, the problems that we create ourselves. You know, we get in our own way. So don't micromanage the universe this month and, and see how it goes. Trust that everything that shows up for you is part of the natural rhythm. Dance to it. Feel it in the body. Allow it to move you in a direction. I'm being shown a speaker and something on top of the speaker and you know, the speaker's going and the object is moving. It's shaking. It's doing the work for us. We don't have to um, direct that shake. We just need to see where that object is, is going and follow that object, pursue that object. Ooh, this is interesting. I think this is going to be a really fun month to experiment and explore um, the different life rhythms um, that you find in your own life and in your day to day. So there is your challenge, your mission, should you choose to accept it. And of course, this message will self-destruct in 3.2 seconds. <laughs> All right, guys, that is our demystify for this week. Um, it was so great to connect with you guys. Feel free to like, subscribe, and click the bell on that YouTube for all of my content. Uh, if you want to join my completely free Black Feather community, we would love to have you. Tons of support and readings going on in there at all times. And if there's any other way that I can help you, please feel free to click on the link below to book a session with me to receive some clarity and guidance, maybe to find your rhythm and find your flow. I would love to be of service. Take care, guys, and have the most amazing week. Transform well.